So my name is Frances Fry. I'm a researcher, associate professor here at Chalmers, and I do research on electromobility and sustainable mobility. I lived in Milano in the 80s when I was a kid. And my mother is Swedish, but we lived there. And she got uh, pneumonia, so her lungs, had, she had double-sided pneumonia and was sick for a long time. And the doctors told her, you have to stop smoking. And my mother looked at the doctors and was like, well, what are you talking about? And like, well, it looks, I don't smoke. Well, your lungs look like somebody who smokes two packs of cigarettes a day. And then they realized that it's the bad air in Milano. And so the doctor said, if you want to be really well, you have to move away from Milano. And that was the first step for my mother to think about moving back to Sweden, which, and, and in that time to Malmö, which is a smaller city and with better air quality than, than Milano. So part of my interest for environment and clean air and so on came from growing up in a city that was very polluted and with very bad air quality. Frances nos invita a conocer Ciudad Eléctrica, el proyecto de investigación en el que trabaja. Este es un bus eléctrico real que se inserta en la red de transporte público y conecta los dos campus existentes de la universidad con el centro de la ciudad. So this is the fully electric bus. You see it there that the bus driver there's like sitting in the middle and behind there so you recognize some of the buses are fully electric. They only go on electricity. And some of the buses, they have uh, they are so-called plug-in hybrids. So they have both an electric engine and a normal combustion engine. Why is it important this project? It's important because we have to shift our transportation system to a cleaner transportation system. And electricity, especially in cities, offers a lot of possibilities because it reduces the climate impact. It reduces the emissions, the local emissions, so you get better air quality. And electric buses also have less noise. So you have the possibility to drive around the cities without making so much noise, which is an important issue as well. Uh, one of the things that also this, it opens the possibility is for new ways of designing bus stops. So the end bus stop of this bus is an indoor bus stop. Many, many companies support this project? Yeah. Sponsor or...? Well, it's a collaboration between the university, between Volvo, between the municipality, between Ericsson and many different companies. And then they can use this bus line and this project as a platform for trying out different things. So there's one thing, for example, you try out geofencing. So you might want, with the plug-in hybrids that have both engines, you have some parts of the city where emissions are not that important because there are not as many people living. So then you, have, you can have the combustion engine there. And then you can say, once you pass here, toof, we shift over to the electric engine. And then the bus driver doesn't have to do it or anything like that. It does automatically. But then you need to have a system that works. And so you can test those systems. It's uh, very positive from many points of view, both with the collaboration, but also uh, people appreciate the silent bus drive, and also the drivers appreciate it a lot. I think the most important learning experience is that this actually works. I mean, because many times people think that, oh, it's, it's not possible to do, or can really a bus, that's such a big one, can you really have it electric, and it's, it might take so much longer time to go with electric buses, or we won't, it won't have time to charge. But the bus has been going here without any problems for, for several years now, and so it, it shows that it actually works, that it's a reality and that you, you can implement it even other time. Well, I think the cities can be a large driving force for change in a more sustainable way and that they have to do it. I mean, I was talking about Milano in the 80s, but a lot of cities still today, especially in Europe and not talking about in China and I'm sure even in Latin America, deal with a lot of air pollution issues. And that is a real health problem for a lot of people uh, and, a, and a question about quality of life for, for people. Um, so. I mean, there's, there's a local issue with, with air quality, there's climate issues, and cities have the possibility to shift, to create an environment that is less polluting, less noisy, and that's also healthier for people. And electric transportation in the cities is one of the key factors. It's not the only one, but it's one of them that is part of shifting the cities to a more livable city.